Video number six is going to focus on creating a credit slide, uh, specifically so we can put in our citations for the images if we are using images that we have pulled from the web. So here I have open again my iMovie. Uh, this is my project library. So I'll click into the project that I'm working with and you can see that we have the title slide that I've already created. I have all my images in the order that I want them. Now at the end, we need to have some kind of slide to at least say maybe who we are or uh, and then specifically to put our citations for where these images uh, came from. So I'm going to go ahead over to the titles browser again and open up my titles browser. Now in here, they're really, to my knowledge and the things that I use this for, there are only two good ones to use for a credits. Now you have the one specifically called scrolling credits. So I'll drag that one into the end. Uh, I think a black background is best for that one. So I'll just click on black background and you can have that one in there. I'm going to put a second one in here just so we can see the difference. And that will be the Star Wars-esque Far, Far Away. And these are two that are scrolling. Uh, and I'll do a, back, a black background again for that one. And these are two that are scrolling that are going to have the particular things that we want as far as creating uh, a credits slide for our citations. Now uh, you can manipulate and maneuver the text how you want. So if you click above the slide where the text is and it tells you it's four seconds long uh, and so forth that you know we can do what we need to within this. Uh, there's a show fonts. You can click there and you can change fonts and colors and things like that if you want it center aligned, bold, italicized, or whatever. And when you're done, you just hit hit done at the bottom. Uh, you can also preview this at any time by simply clicking on this little play button here and it'll run through it and let you know what it looks like. And then it'll come back up. And when you're done, you're done. So all you have to do is click in here to manipulate the text to put in however you want to to put in your particular information. Same thing on the next slide for the far far away they have a bunch of gibberish in here so if you just click on it it'll highlight everything you simply can delete and then you can start typing in your information and I'll go into fonts we want that to be centered I'll hit done so now that's centered and then just hit enter a couple times and then you can start putting in your information. Now as far as using this for citations. I'm going to go into my finder and back to my desktop, back into my Achilles folder, and I'm going to open up my document that I was keeping of all of the websites that I have for where the pictures came from. So I can simply just copy Command C and then come back into iMovie, click into the slide, hit Command V, and all of those websites will pop right in there. And I can highlight those. I can change those to be, you know, a little bit bigger. So maybe I want them to be at six as far as the size. I uh, want them to be center aligned. I'll hit done. Now they're centered. And then the only other thing I can do in here is just put a space between my particular websites. And so at the end of each website I will put a space so you can see the difference between each site and you can go ahead on and through like that and so whenever you're done you just hit done and I kinda like that one better than I like this one so all I have to do is click and delete it'll go away and now you can see my scrolling slide of citations from where are from where these things came from so that's how we can create a credit slide